Good evening, everyone. The time is now 6.33. We'll call this public hearing to order for July 26th. Uh, in, in the back of the room, in case you wanted a copy of anything that's all in the back, uh, there's a copy of the public hearing, there's a copy of the meeting at 7 o'clock, there's also a copy of all of the ordinances that we'll be talking about tonight. And so for tonight, we're looking to get your input and to have you um, have an understanding of what the changes or new ordinances would be. And at 7 o'clock, we will actually have the vote on all five of those. So at this time, while everybody's still coming in, I would um, start by discussing item, uh, the first item to be discussed would be to approve, approve or reject proposed amendments to ordinance number eight and ordinance concerning hours of opening and closing the polls. In review of the ordinances, ordinance number eight currently states, as of December 2nd, 1957, voted that the polls at all regular and special municipal elections held on a day other than a day of regular or special state election shall be open from six o'clock a.m. to seven p.m. And so that is listed there with um, the selectmen who were there at the time and the town clerk who was there at the time. So you'll notice that there's one thing that should be changed, hopefully, um, and that would be uh, the closing time from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So at this point, do we have any questions on that particular one? Correct. That the polls at all regular and special municipal elections. Elections being the key word. Yep. All right. Any other questions or comments on that one? It's fairly straightforward. Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we do the reviews. We review them and look at them and see whether it might be a typo or something like this, which does have some precedence. So we want to make sure that it's all correct. That was it. Anything else on that one? Okay, how about ordinance number 19? That's the second one in your packet. Uh, ordinance 19 concerning the property tax assessment date in the town of Plainfield, dated May 21st, 1969, the date for assessment of property for purposes of taxation by the town of Plainfield shall be September 1st annually. And since we have our assessor here, what should it be? It should be October 1st. Fairly simple. Per we, se statute. Per se statute. We follow it, but we want to make sure that in our ordinances, again, it's just a clarification. Any comments, concerns? All right, very good. The third one in your packet, um, the third one in your packet is to approve or reject proposed ordinance 136, an ordinance concerning the fire marshal required inspections and permit fees. Um, it has a little length to it, but just bear with us. This is something where uh, we've monitored other towns and what they do, and this is actually a compilation of what other towns do for fees for their fire marshal. So that's why it is listed as such, even to the point where it's actually just the first three pages. And there's a reason why it would be just the first three pages, because if there's a fee that's changed during the process, you don't have to go back to a town meeting to change the ordinance. You would go through the selectmen and they would vote to modify or not modify. So taking a look at the first three pages, you talk about the purpose, uh, the inspections that are done, plan reviews, um, and then the building permit approvals. And then a listing of all the permits. And there's also incident reports which are done, enforcement and exemptions. And you'll see at the bottom of that page, there is the bottom of that page three, the fee schedule shall be approved and adjusted as needed by the Plainfield Board of Selectmen and Plainfield Fire Marshal. And again, we try to compare these to other towns to make sure that it is in alignment with what the fees are.
Are there any questions or concerns or comments on that item which is proposed as Ordinance 136? So far, so good. All right, the next one up will be speaking on, uh, in your list there, it's uh, number five, uh, discuss a, requ a request to approve or reject ordinance number 137, which is an ordinance concerning the fixing of assessments on real property located directly adjacent to an enterprise corridor zone. Have a map on that yet? Or it's in the back. So, if anybody has a question about where the enterprise zone that we're speaking of directly, uh, they are listed in the back on that map. And so, in your packet, there's a one pager, oh, one and a half, uh, talking about an ordinance concerning the fixing of assessments for real property located directly adjacent to an enterprise border zone. There is a review there of which would be approved. By the Board of Selectmen uh, shall defer an increase in the real estate assessments attributable to improvements to real property not used for residential purposes located directly adjacent to an enterprise corridor zone according to the following schedule. And you'll see there, there is a, it says six years, it's actually five, the, the six year goes back to zero, so there's no um, assessment uh, decrease at that point. Have you had a chance to read through? And are there any questions or concerns on this one? We do have some people here who can help out with that. Again, it would be on a map back there, but it basically is where the, as an example, the enterprise zones that we have currently, only the budding properties that would qualify. Correct, non-residential. And you get a deferment for six years? It's five. Five years, I'm sorry. Yep. If you want to, just, if you want to get to the microphone and explain a little. Mary Ann Chinati, town planner, just to clarify, even though uh, a, a company may submit an application to the Board of Selectmen to take advantage of the deferments, um, those deferments go away after the fifth year, but the ordinance requires that the new company stay in town for a minimum of 10 years, or they have to repay the town whatever money they saved. So that's what we're talking yeah. okay. yep. okay. about. Yeah. If you remember years ago when Lowe's came in, very similar. Um, so it's something that we would help to bring a business in, but we're still getting taxes off of it on the assessment. Back up so they can give all the answers. Um, so that's really what that one is about. Um, unless there's anything else to bring forth on that, um, you see in your packet is the uh, last one, which is ordinance uh, discussion four on item number six to approve or reject proposed ordinance 138, an ordinance concerning floodplain management. Modifications have been made because, well, we've got some new maps. 
And because of that, there's some modifications for the floodplain uh, management ordinance. Um, at the Board of Select meeting on Monday, we did have um, one modification here, but it's a temporary one. We don't have a full-time um, building inspector, so Marianne has graciously offered to serve in that role, if you see on page. Page number nine in that packet, with that one, it states that there is a designation of the um, ordinance administrator. We do anticipate when we have a full-time building inspector that that person would then take over that responsibility. Any questions or points of interest for this one? I do appreciate your time. Um, what we're going to do at this time, unless there's any other questions or comments, we will adjourn until 7, and then at that time we'll, we'll go into a, a vote and um, move forward. Okay? Motion to adjourn, anybody? Thank you very much. Now adjourned at 6.44. Good evening, everyone. Um, before I call the meeting to order, just so you know, on the back of the table behind you, there's also the list here for, um, not a list, it's a 2023 Business of the Year nomination. So if you have time to take uh, one of these and fill it out, it would be very much appreciated. And I will call the meeting to order. The time is now 7.01. In order to continue on, you notice something is, has to be modified on your ballot. That's what they're doing right now. I would ask that we go into recess. We have a motion to do so. I'll move the recess for 10 minutes to amend the ballot. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion and... We are now in recess. We're not back from our recess yet. For those to understand what's happening, questions three, four, and five say to amend an ordinance. But we don't have the ordinances yet. We're actually voting on them. So therefore, we're changing out your yellow ballot to a green one. They're going to come around, swap them out with you. And then when they're done with this recess, we will start again. All right, now the time is 7-11. I'll call this meeting back to order. Remind people that in the town hall that there is a, we don't have to worry about it tonight, but there are emergency exits here up in the front on the sides. And um, hall capacity, I think, is uh, 450 people, believe it or not. Um, at this time, you do all have your green ballots with you? Okay, good. So at this time, we'd open the floor for the, um, normally we'd open the floor for the town clerk to read the legal notice. I'd like to make uh, a motion to waive the reading of the warning. Second. Motion's been made to waive the legal notice and warning. We have a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, now we'll open the floor for nomination for moderator. Second. All right. Are there any other nominations for moderator? I move to close nominations. Second. Make sure. Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. All in favor of the nominations being closed, say signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, I will now do the moderator position. Um, we will go. Um, We've already been through a description of what all of those items are. You do have the new ballot because you have the green one. Uh, at this time, I would ask that we look at there. This is not a magic trick, but <laughs> it is empty. We'll have that closed up now. Yep. So no rabbits. So you're going to close that up. And I would ask that you politely bring your ballot up to the front. We have some pen pens up here if you need it. 
Okay, so all five have been motioned to ballot. We have a second. Any other discussion? All right. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 At this time now, please bring your ballot up. If you need a pen, we have pens up here in the front. This time, is anybody else who has not been passed out of been passed out of ballot has not come up to vote yet? Please do so. Last call for ballots. Is everybody taking their ballot and put it, uh, marked it, and put it into the box? I'm over here. Okay, at that time we'll now close ballots and start counting. Thank you. Shall the Town of Plainfield authorize the proposed amendment to ordinance number eight concerning hours of opening and closing polls? We had four no votes, 35 yes. Item number two, shall the Town of Plainfield authorize the proposed amendment in ordinance 19 concerning the property tax assessment date in the Town of Plainfield? Eight no, 31 yes. Item number three, shall the Town of Plainfield authorize the proposed uh, concerning the fire marshal's required inspection, inspections and permit fees? We had nine no's and 30 yes. Item number four, which was shall the Town of Plainfield authorize the proposed uh, concerning the fixing of assessments on real property located directly adjacent to the Enterprise Quarter Zone? Eight no, 31 yes. Question five, shall the Town of Plainfield authorize the proposed Concerning flood plague management, six no's, 32 yes. That concludes the voting, all five passed, and I want to thank you all for taking the time to come tonight. Motion to adjourn. So, Matt and 
lottery. Thank you. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, one more thing just before you run. I've been mentioning it already a couple times, but the, the voting for the business of the year, it has an expiration date, so you've got to get it in for August 10th. Thank you.